It's a slow Friday night in the case we've got just two games for you on tap, but at least one of them is a riot. My name is Andreas Sachinko and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We travel to Padovsk Moscow region first. It's a side of battle between Vitez and Boris. Home team gets on the board first. Vitez for the opening period. Jakob Urabic scores from the slot just after Boris gets their fourth man back out on the ice. Boris responds before the period expires. Linus Vidal takes a shot and the puck goes in with a deflection. Corbin Knight is credited with his 12th of the year. The Viruses enjoy a great second period of action. Curtis Volk puts Boris in the lead just out of five minutes into it. A little later, Linus Vidal scores his fourth of the season as he redirects Lani Metallica's shot in. Corbin Knight has assist on both of these markers. Vita swap Ilya Jaffa for Igor Safrikin after that, but Boris saw them as well in the last minute of the period. Misha Shevchenko with his third of the year. Vitas get a goal back meter through the third frame. Stanislav Gribin Shikov has his test to make it 4 2. But it doesn't face Boris. Linus Fidel scores his second of the night to put it out of reach. Orban Knight picks up yet another assist and finishes the night with four points as Boris takes it 5 2 on the road. We're now in Moscow with Spartak take on Sochi. And this one is completely wild. The Leopards open scoring five minutes into the game. Denis Musalov one times at home on a two man advantage. They add two more to their lead in the second frame. Robert Rosen drops it at the hash marks, and rookie Maltis Tromval beats Ulysses Hudacek. Five minutes later, Andre Altiburma counts, springs up for a breakaway, and he delivers. Great stick handling by this Blackhawk prospect. But everything goes upside down in the third period. First, Ansel Galima puts Spartak on the board with a redirect. Five minutes later, rookie Akin Trishin wires it home for his first career KHL goal, and just like that, the red and white are back to within one. Four minutes later, Jakob Rilov skates to the slot with the puck. Chaos ensues and Dennis Kokorov has the quickest hands in it. Tie game. But Sochi regained the lead shortly after that as Maltes Trombal gets the puck from Alte for and scores his second of the night. He's got 16 on the season. Spartak respond a minute later. Jakob Rilov buries the rebound from inside. This one is sighted for and we go into overtime. Sochi shoot themselves in the foot as they hand Spartak a man advantage and Spartak makes the most out of it. Dmitry Vishnevsky fires it home from the dot. Spartak erase a three-goal deficit and take it 5-4 in overtime. What a game! And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for seven more games, including Sibir against Hotbars and Avangard vs. Salamati Live. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.